So we're here with Thomas Rongan, the man, the legend. There is so much to talk about, Thomas. But Dana, how are you today? I, I, I'm doing great, especially you standing next to me last night, calling it into Miami game. Yep. What better? So again, I want to be a good host since you were a great host in 2017, 2018. When you guys, by the way, mm. kicked their butts and not allowed us to go to the World Cup and TNT in the U.S. again will match up to see who's going to the Copa America. So, yes, we've been intertwined for quite some time. I'm glad you're here and 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 love your content, obviously. And, and, and yeah, let's kick some ass. Uh, yeah, I love that. So, you know, it's, it feels like destiny is playing off because we were meant to meet each other. And, you know, I feel like there's so much to talk about and we're only scratching the surface, but I'm going to get straight into it. The movie Next World Wings is coming out. Uh, Taika Waititi is the director. And I feel like I need to ask you this before any other question. What was that conversation like with Taika? How did it happen? Well, in 2014, when the original documentary came out in the Tribeca Film Festival, was The Rock sitting next to me because he was in New York promoting the movie because he's Samoan. Yeah. And next to him was, which I figured out later, was Taika Watiti. Yeah. He actually said at the end of the movie, I love this. I'm going to turn this into, or I'm going to turn this docu into a movie. And I went like, yeah, whatever. Three years later, I just won an Oscar with Jojo Rabbit. <laughs> I'm done with Thor. Mm-hmm. I've made a lot of money. I want to go back to my roots. Yeah. And, and you know more about what Titi than I do, but going back to his roots, he's Polynesian, indigenous, a comic, a bright mind, a charismatic uh, Tarantino who plays over in his own, in his own movies. And for him to reach out to me and tell me that Michael Fassbender is going to play me oh my God. in this movie uh, was one of those, you play with Jan Cruyff. It was a pinch me moment, you know? And this is a pinch me moment as well. Because like here, you sit sometimes with friends at a bar and plays and go, if it ever happens, which it won't, who do you want you to play in a movie? And in my case, it's Michael Fassbender. So... Yeah. How's your day going, Andre? <laughs> Listen, that's crazy because that's that's my next question because there's very few people I could ask this question. You know, how does it feel knowing that someone like Michael Fassbender is playing you on the screen? Because it feels, it's something that not much people could understand. No, and the interesting part, if you look at Fassbender's directory as a, as a brilliant actor as well. I mean, if you look at the, what he did with Steve Jobs, what he did with Steve McQueen, the way he played uh, the guy with hunger stride of the IRA in Ireland, uh, Magneto, uh, three, 300, you know, I mean, it's just been incredible. And for him to venture into a drama, comic, feel good one is, is an area that he also is not familiar with. Yeah. And, and I did see eventually uh, the movie private screening here and then in Toronto, the Toronto International Film Festival. And, and I must say, Michael Fessman, well done. He even <laughs> yeah. made his hair blonde. Yeah. His accent is pretty close. His mannerisms are pretty close. I'm going, wow, that's pretty good. I'm not a drunk, by the way, <laughs> which I told Fassbender, which yeah. in the movie he is. Yeah. Uh, but, it, but Tiger said, I need a little bit of a villain early on, and, and you happen to be the yeah. The, the villain there as well, but uh, kept wait actually because Fast Matter is coming out with two or three movies in the next few months and totally different genres, you yeah. know, which shows you his range as well and shows you also the range of of, of what Titi said to me. I want to go back to my roots. Yeah, I want to give Polynesian actors and about sixty percent of the actors in the movie are Polynesian as well. Right, and he wants to put New Zealand, Polynesia, uh, on the map. Uh, that was his speech, basically, at the yeah. Toronto International Film Festival. And I got a commend him for, for, for that. It's, uh, it's just a brilliant mind, quick wit as well. Give, give, me, a good, give me a good tiger with TD Live. Oh you know him better, actually, than I right? Yeah, so when, he's such a witty guy because, you know, and I think that's why you and him work really well. Because, uh, like, uh, when he did an interview, he was promoting this movie. Mm-hmm. And he said this hilarious thing, which is such a Taika Waititi thing. And it's simple, and he has a beautiful brain. Uh, he started off, hey, guys, I'm Taika Waititi. I'm doing the voice, folks. I'm trying. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, I know I can't help you with that. You know, that, that, that's the kind of things he does. Because uh, 
I, I, I mold a lot of my style after his movie. I have my own style, but you know, I love this guy. And to kind of show on him into a description is difficult yeah. because his, his comedic delivery is, he's a funny guy. He is, he's funny. a funny guy. He's hilarious. And, and he pokes fun at himself as well. Because if you look at the opening of uh, the movie and the trailer, yeah. he has, you know, he has his Oscar, and then he also has all his failures there. You yeah, know, I love that. I need that, which is which is which is brilliant. A lot of people don't want to go there, mm. but 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 he does, and that's why he's so respected in in the industry and so sought after as one of the best now in the world. Obviously, and I think this movie, we're going through really a rough time in the world. This will be a real uplifting, cool runnings meets uh, the Mighty Ducks via a little bit you know the, the big series that apple right now obviously yeah. uh, is going on uh, it's a combination of all with his interesting quirky but brilliant humor throughout the movie as well so uh great characters uh, great actors as well you have elizabeth moss who's won a lot of emmys you very obviously Klaus bender who was up twice for an oscar might be up for an oscar as well again for this one uh, can't wait. Yeah. November 17th, world. Yes, yes. It's coming out there, including in Amsterdam. Yes, my buddies. You can watch it. And hopefully in Trinidad and Tobago, we're going to make that happen, folks. We're going to make that happen. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching Extra Time TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe.